Welcome back to the channel guys, I am Jeremy and today I have another beautiful, beautiful RV to show you guys. This is a 29 foot Integra. Of course we modified the suspension because the suspension on these just suck from the factory. So let's show you what we did to make it awesome. Let's go. All right guys, so this is an Integra. And if you know anything about the Integras, they are going to be more of a high-end, simple, luxurious coach on the inside. Well, we wanna keep it just as simple and elegant on the outside, doing this awesome suspension kit to make these ride better. That is our goal. We wanna make the suspension match the coach on the inside. And what we've done on this is this is gonna be our six inch off-grid lift kit. The key to these are is if you wanna run a larger tire, you're able to do that. Um, part of this lift kit is that we do the extended radius arms and push this forward in the wheel well, giving you a lot more room. It's always going to be a lot easier to trim your bumper up here in the front than to mess with this beautiful um, step and fender flare on the outside of it. We don't wanna mess with that at all. So the lift kit is going to include coil springs. The benefit in the coil springs is that they are going to have a higher spring rate in them, giving you less sway. I know that's the big thing that a lot of people complain about is you get into a bigger RV like this. This is a 29 foot RV. And when your RV weighs 14,000 pounds going down the road, you can get a lot of sway out of it. Well, that's gonna help reduce the sway. Keeping in mind, we're not going to any aftermarket sway bars on the front of this. And with our lift kit, you don't need to do that. That's a big plus. We're gonna save you money. Yes, you're spending money on the kit, but you're upgrading everything on there. You're also gonna get a set of Fox shocks. You have the ability to do Kings as well. We've done a steering stabilizer on there and keeping... We did it. You're right. But anyways, keep going on this. So I wanna to talk to you about the steering stabilizers. If you don't have a steering stabilizer on your coach, definitely recommend running a WeldTech design steering stabilizer. Now these are made, the shock is actually made by Fox, King, or Bilstein. We sell all three of them and they all three have different price points, which is going to be key. Now this particular customer did put a Safety Plus steering stabilizer on there, which you can run with our lift kits. We're not getting rid of it if you, you, know, you don't need it. We're not trying to just sell you more parts. And keeping this in mind too, if you have a stock RV and you have a stock steering stabilizer and you're looking to upgrade your steering stabilizer, all of our kits will work with your stock RV. So, I mean, as comfortable as I am, Let's go to the back of this thing. All right, so this video is all being done on our butt. So I really just don't wanna get in the way of these wheels. We don't do a lot of wheels on uh, RVs and this is just something that is nice, different. So really wanna show this off. Now guys, you do have the ability to go to a larger tire and you can see all that room in the wheel well. Now what's something that you probably are not going to want to see is what actually happened in here with the factory springs and the overloads that were in there, you can see have completely smashed the sheet metal. That sheet metal is designed to keep things from getting kicked up from your tires and hitting your plumbing and electrical underneath there. And you can see that this is just completely smashed. So make sure that yours isn't getting smashed if you haven't lifted your RV. So in the back of this, we've run our progressive leaf springs in the rear. That's how we're getting all the height out of this. We've also added our Fox shocks to the rear. Now again, talking about other companies' components and what you're able to do. Now this particular person also has a Roadmaster sway bar in the rear, and that sway bar will still work with our lift kit so you don't necessarily have to get rid of products. Now, however, keep this in mind. With our lift kit, there's no need to add a sway bar or a track bar or airbags or add a lease. And when you start factoring in the cost of all of those products, you're gonna spend a lot more than just doing it right like we do here at Weld Tech Design. So just something to keep in mind. I know that when you get on a lot of these forms, a lot of people are pretty discouraging and they're like, hey, add this, add that. Um, and we just don't do any of that. We get rid of it all. And this is the setup on here. This is a beautiful coach. 
Uh, you know, I know the customer is going to have a lot of fun driving this thing. Maybe I want to go drive. You guys, should we go drive this thing or what? Yeah, I think so. Let's go for a drive. All right, guys, so my favorite thing about these RVs are driving them and the how they corner. So going into this first corner, I mean, you'll tell instantly just how much more stable it is. You don't get that rocking or wallowing effect. And, it, you know, we're going around that corner at about 20 miles an hour. Now, this is the same kind of little journey, my little, this is like my track, local track that I do quite often in these because it gives you a definitely a different variety. There it is going into a driveway and you're not having to slow down to like five miles an hour for two reasons. First of all, the suspension is doing its job and that's key. The second part is, well, now we have the additional height as well. So we're not worried that we're going to be dragging over driveway entrances or exits. And that's always going to be a plus. Like as we go back out this driveway right now, this doesn't have a huge incline, but still it's gonna go out it very nicely. And that's the key right there is normally you get a lot of sway and wallow out of that back end as you enter or exit a driveway. And we're not getting that anymore with the suspension. It's much more stable, which is also gonna help reduce that sway. We're gonna make a right turn here, doing the same thing. We're gonna keep our speed at about 25 miles an hour. And man, it's just like butter going around this. Again, this is a 29 foot motorhome, so it has got some length to it. Now here's the other point, as we're driving down the road, trying not to hit a semi, you're gonna notice the other big thing is a lot of times these coaches, when you steer your steering wheel, like it wants to sway, but it just wants to keep going. You can feel that as you make these sharp turns, it's planting itself and then going back. That's what the shocks are doing. The shocks are really controlling the ride um, and making a huge benefit in it. So as there's not a lot to show you on the suspension on the outside of it, there still is so much going on that you don't even realize. And that's where just driving it makes the big difference. All right, guys, well, that was fun going on a test drive. I wish that you guys were along with me so that you could just really tell how much better these RVs drive with our WeldTech design suspension on it. And really the whole point of that test drive was to go get a Slurpee because it's hot out guys. And uh, I just wanted a Slurpee. So I figured, hey, I'll take you guys on a ride. So anyways, guys, I hope that you found this video somewhat informative um, or maybe just entertaining for all that matters. And if you did, please come back. Every week we put out a new video on vans, RVs, and just killer products that we build here at Weld Tech Design. So smash that subscribe button. Thank you very much for hanging out with me, checking out this awesome Integra. I'm Jeremy from Weld Tech Designs. I'm gonna enjoy my Slurpee.